What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. I am not the single guy. So today we're going to be talking about five ways to show interest without being needy. This is a very common question that I get because as a guy, if you like a girl, you'll want to show her that you like her, but you don't want to be seen as needy. Neediness is one of the most unattractive traits a man can have. So we're going to talk about five ways that you can actually do this. Now all of these ways come down to one important principle. And that's this, if you are giving value towards somebody rather than taking value, it's very, very tough to be seen as needy. In each of these ways, we're gonna show you how to show interest, give value, but not be a value taker, which is a needy person. Someone who's always taking value and wants to get value from other people rather than giving it, that's a needy person. Women do not want this guy. So we're gonna show you five ways about how to be the other guy that's giving value. Okay. Way one, invite her to something fun that you are already doing. This is a much better way of getting her to go out with you, getting her to hang out with you, rather than the typical date scenario, which believe it or not, a lot of women are not that crazy about, okay? A date might seem nice, but when you actually look at it at face value, you know, asking a girl out, asking her to allocate time out of her day or a week to actually meet you, to see if you're a cool person, and you guys might not click and it might not be that fun, but, if you invited her to something fun that you're already doing, something that might be fun for her as well, you invite her to that and if she shows up, great. And if you guys have a good time, great. And you like each other, great. But even if she doesn't, she can still have fun. She can still do something enjoyable. That's giving value. And you can do this a whole lot. Even if she doesn't come, even if she doesn't show up or she can't make it, it's still almost a positive for you because she sees that you're doing fun things and you're inviting her to fun things. Who doesn't want to be invited to fun things? You can do this a lot more than the ask her out every single week, ask her how she's doing and then try and you know, get her to go out with you. You know, you get turned down a lot of these ways. It's very difficult to be constantly asking out a girl to go on a date with you without being seen as needy. But if you're inviting her to something fun that you're already doing, it's you can keep it going for a lot longer and you're seen as just a much more high value guy. Two, send her something random and funny with no strings attached. I invite you guys to be a little bit more spontaneous, to be a little bit more fun and do this without any strings attached. The key key here is that when the needy guy says something, he's really just trying to get a reaction so he can ask her out, or he's really trying to, you know, get affection from her or whatever it is. If you send something with no strings attached, what you, the message that you're actually sending to this person is, hey, here's some fun, here's something to make you laugh, here's something, here's some value, and I'm not asking for anything in return. People love getting messages like this, and if you just keep constantly giving value to people, you'll be surprised about how much value you get back, okay? This is showing that you saw something, maybe it was a meme that you saw. I saw this uh, you know, cat meme the other day and I sent it to my girlfriend and she really enjoyed it. I showed her that, hey, I saw this and I thought about you. And so you're telling her that you're interested because you're thinking about her and I wanted you to enjoy it too. Again, giving value. This is the kind of way to show interest without being needy. Thing three, let her win you over. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit of a story. When I used to go out with women and I would see a girl that was really pretty or maybe she embodied certain characteristics that I was looking for, I would fall head over heels in love with her super quickly. How many of those women do you think it actually ended up working with? The answer is zero, okay? These girls wouldn't even sleep with me. And the reason why was because I didn't let them win me over at all. You know, if you just see somebody or you match with them on a, on a dating app, you have no idea if this person is actually gonna be cool. You have no idea if this person is actually gonna be someone that you wanna actually even hook up with, okay? You don't know that yet. Don't be so easy. So if you already go into the date, if you already start messaging her with the idea that I have to win this person over and you've already made your decision, that's inherently needy. It's very difficult to seem as like a higher value, higher value person or a reasonable not needy person when you're coming from this mentality. So guys, don't be so easy. Even if your sole goal is just to hook up with this person, you don't know if they're actually gonna be even fun. You might show up and they might suck, okay? So don't be so easy. Let her win you over a little bit. And that kind of mentality is gonna allow Allow you to actually be a person that they do want to win over, that they do want to actually have sex with or hook up with or date or whatever it is. You'd be surprised. If you don't give it up so easily, you're going to get a lot more in return. Thing four is to react positively or not at all. Basically, if you're a guy who gets upset, if you're a guy who's getting frustrated, or God forbid you cry when a girl rejects you or when a girl turns you down. And look, man, if I understand if it's heartbreak or if you've been dating a girl for a long time, but dude, if you match with a girl off a dating app and she flakes on you and you cry over that, 
Dude, you are the neediest person ever. There's no way that girl's ever gonna wanna go out with you or ever gonna wanna be with somebody like that. What you're telling that person is that you need this so badly that you're willing to get emotional over it. And don't get me wrong, I used to get emotional all the time for women. Oh my God, the stories, is so bad. Uh, but that's never happened to me now. I've never ever gotten upset with a girl that I've known for longer than a month, okay? It just doesn't happen to me anymore. And the reason why is because I'm giving value. I have a lifestyle that's regularly making me happy and so when a girl t turns me down or if she does she's not interested it's still a pretty awesome life if you're needing somebody to bring happiness into your life that much that you're gonna be upset over it then it's probably not gonna work out with that person Way five is to tease her, especially about something that you notice. Now, tease her in a fun, playful way. You do not want to be mean about this. If you do this correctly, she's going to feel fun. She's going to feel playful. She's going to feel girly. I remember there's one time where I was sitting down and, um, you know, I was out with this girl a while back. We were eating some food and I noticed that she was cutting her food up in a kind of interesting way. It was like little, it was honestly the most adorable thing I'd ever seen. She was cutting her food into like these little tiny bite-sized pieces. So I started imitating her and I was like cutting my food up into little bite-sized pieces. And uh, so I'm doing this with a big smile on my face and eventually she looks up and sees what I'm doing, puts down her utensils, we both look at each other and then we just started cracking up, okay? What I did was I showed her that, hey, I pay attention to you. I'm noticing the ways that you're, you're doing things and I'm giving you a little bit of shit in the process. It's what what playful people do with each other. It's what people in a relationship do with each other all the time. They tease each other. They like to make it's, it's it's a show of affection, but it's not doing it in a needy way. You're showing, hey, I pay attention to you. You know, I thought what you were doing was cute, but I'm not gonna get you too big of a head about it. You know, that's what you want to indicate to that person is that you know you like them. You're you um, you're paying attention to them but you're not necessarily like putting them on a huge pedestal, right? Okay, so those are the five ways. Guys, there's plenty more out there. This is something that I teach with my students and clients all the time, different ways about doing that, but I thought I would give you a sneak peek in this video. So if you think of any more, put them in the comments section below. And guys, if you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you doing? There's so many people that watch all of my videos but don't even subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notifications bell so you can get notified when I come out with a new video. If you're looking to get coached by me, there's a form down below. Guys, good luck out there.